honestly never heard of the book until yesterday when it was handed to me. I went home and started reading and literally could not put the book down until I fell asleep. I uh, was completely intrigued by all of the different perspectives and what these children were going through. Dear Diary, recently in Mrs. G's class, we've been studying the legend of Camelot and King Arthur. At first, many of us in the class were not too interested in the legends that occurred in the medieval times. I think Miss G saw our initial lack of interest, so she decided to add a little incentive in order to get the class to participate a little more. She announced that once our lesson was finished and the class took the test, all the students who passed the test would be eligible to attend a field trip to the Medieval Times restaurant. The more I participated in class, the more I realized that I was no longer interested in the lesson plan because of the possible reward but because I was genuinely found the lesson captivating. The day before our long-awaited field trip, another teacher told me and a friend in class that we were not going to be able to go unless we dressed in slacks and a tie and not like gangsters. Gangsters? Since when do gangsters wear guest shirts with Levi pants at the waist? Maybe he felt this way because of my race. I didn't know and I was confused. Funny that he create, was creating rules on his own. After all, he was only tagging along as a chaperone. He shouldn't have been pushing his weight around. No problem, we thought. Even though neither one of us owned a tie, we were going to dress our best without one. The next day, as my friend and I stood in line to board the bus, we were asked to step out of line and let others aboard. I was in complete shock. I had worked so hard to get the awaited moment, only to be told that I could not participate because of my appearance. Confused and disappointed, my friend and I went home. The next day was very hard, as everyone asked why I didn't attend the field trip. Actually, what really bothered me was how everyone was bragging about how much fun it was. A little while after the incident, I met with Miss Gruwell and the other teacher who prevented me from participating in the event. Miss G put up a hell of a fight. Apparently, she felt that I had the right to go, too, just like everyone else, and that I was wrongfully discriminated against because of the way I was dressed. To think that I was denied something because of the fact I was not wearing a tie, but still following the dress code, disgusts me. From now on, I will walk with my head in the clouds and dream of people who will stop judging books by their cover. I liked it because the young man did everything and excelled and then was denied because of his attire. It spoke words to what he, the lesson he learned from it of, I will walk with pride now. Mm -hmm.